Hey everybody, this is Aaron, and welcome back to Lodron. New episode of Dark Souls. Alright, so got a couple, uh, I got a walkthrough part I gotta do, and then we're off to Sen's Fortress. These guys. Mm -hmm. Well said, my friend. What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. I'm sorry. I'm not a priest yeah, like you, buddy. Lady like that, you might scare her off for good. Oh, really? You are undead as well. Yes, I am. Can, how can you tell? I fraternize. I have my mission, and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Agreed. Jeez. For someone who looks like a fragile... Uh... Do I want to go with none? I don't know. She had her words sound like she's a lot stronger. She got the bodyguards. Oh, hello. Hello to you. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. I'm sure I. It was a pleasure. And I'm sure I'll see you later, jerk. And I will explain my reasoning for saying that here soon. Actually, it'll be a while. Now, what you want to do, hop on the elevator. Now, you can actually do this any time after you have access to this elevator. I had meant to do it before going to Blight Town, but I'm, I'm dumb like that. Jump over here. Giant bird. Uh, oh, probably forgot to get this. Gotta get this, or this would have been one long, wasted trip. Well, snikies. Oh, heck. Okay, that didn't hurt too much. I'll stop at the bonfire on my way, so it's not going to be a big deal. You need to get that key, or like I said, this trip will be wasted, and then you'll be deeply irritated. It's for a door that not even the master key can open. Get back on here. This time we're not going to jump off anything. Unless we fall. Let's hope we don't do that. Now, what you gotta do is trick the giant birdie into thinking you're an egg. You sit here and do this for a little bit. He will eventually assume you're an egg. I don't know why. Do 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 do. Ah, uh, man. Here we go. Oh, real quick, I want to say, in the comments below, let me know what would be the best time for the live stream when it happens. It's probably going to be about, like I said, three to four hours long, give or take. I will probably start a little early. Just to give people a chance to show up and I'll just do some random level grinding while I'm waiting. Just the annoying pointless things like uh, enchantment, smithing. It's not pointless, but menial stuff. This? Guess where we are? We are back here. I have no idea why that bird decided to put a nest there. Alright. These got Torch hollows are some of the most annoying hollows. Nope. Oh crud. Nope. I can one hit them, but they do a lot of damage when they hit. Now this area is very dangerous. There's actually another boss you can fight. Out in the middle, you see the big rectangle right there? If you step in the middle right here, in front of the staircase, you will fall down and there's a boss waiting down there. Uh... The fat asylum demon that we fought in order to get out of here. Yeah, that's his big brother. Not a nice guy, and I am not going to fight him yet. That will be something I will do a lot later. Right now, I'm just here to take care of a few things. Oh, right. Our old friend. Oscar, how you been, buddy? 
Are, are you still upset that you died and I'm succeeding you? Yeah, he is a very tough hollow. Oh crud. I'll take one of these and dodge that. See if I can get him from behind. Backstab. Yeah, this is the guy that was helping us at the very beginning. And he went hollow, lost his mind. Got his shield. A very nice shield. Uh, I actually use that shield quite a bit. Let that go. For some reason, that resets. I don't know why this hollow went through the process of uh, resetting it. I don't know. Maybe he's hoping to catch somebody eventually with it. This is just such a huge game, and the world feels well put together. Like, this goes up in my top games. Okay, now, the dumbest thing you can do right here is jump down, because that is going to land you right where it'll drop through, and you will not be happy. Yeah, now there's two of these guys in here. Here you go. Backstab for you. Stop hiding behind that shield. It's not honorable. But kicking you in your shield is. Don't argue with it. Open. This ring would have made Blight Town a little easier to deal with. Rusted Iron Ring. It basically, as you saw when I was trying to run through the swamp, I couldn't move very well. The, the purpose of that or this ring is to uh, prevent that, so you don't have any trouble. And then I just have to do this. Since I didn't hit any of the bonfires in this area, it will take me right back to Firelink Shrine. Look at that. Got that done in about eight minutes. Uh, uh, a little over eight minutes. Not bad. i rest up at the bonfire. Got my Pyromancy Flame. Pyromancy is one of my favorite elements in this game, though it is considered, it is, it is, oh hey look, they're gone. It starts out as one of the strongest magics in the game, but it gets no bonuses from any of your stats. It's all, uh, you, it's power is based solely on the level of the glove. So once your Pyromancy Flame is maxed, that's as strong as the Pyromancy can get. Which I think kind of sucks, because that means that Ma uh, spells end up being a lot stronger simply because you can pour all your points into your intelligence. Man, you imagine if I saw another one of those uh, little uh, creature things that I only had a picture of before. That would have been awesome had I been recording when I found that. Oh well. Oh, uh, Sen's Fortress. I don't hate it as much as I hate Blight Town, but it is a close second. Relax at the bonfire. Alright, let's go. There's a lot of this place is traps everywhere. I, I want to get that little video clip of the guy from Star Wars just yelling, it's a trap. That's how trap heavy this place is. Look, a trap! These guys have high defense, high attack. I don't think they have a lot of health, it's just there's a lot of defense to protect that health. And big snakeheads. I'm not a fan of these creatures. Don't you try to stick that face out at me. I'm the Valiant Sir Sparrow. I'm really glad I ended up getting the Balder Side Sword as quick as I did. Oh, present. Soul the Brave Warrior. How did my soul get on the ground? I'm a brave warrior after all. Wanna have some fun? 
Oh wait, I'm gonna kill this guy. Nah, I'll just go up there and take care of him. What the? There's supposed to be a guy over there. The heck? He fell down on his own. Ha ha ha. Oh, the pendulums. Because I didn't kill the snake that's up top, he's going to be firing at me. Oh, you see that item right there? There's only one way to get it. That blade has to hit you and knock you over there. That's the only way. I'm not a fan of that fact. I've never gotten that item. I'm not entirely sure what it is either. I have a game guide, but I've only ever used that for maps. Oh. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I love using traps in the very monsters. Alright, this place is your is the first encounter with the mimics. You saw a version of those in uh oh, crud, where was it? Uh Rogue Legacy. This guy, the wall he's leaning against can break. Now there's two ways of doing it. Either you do it the right way, which is go all the way around here and then use boulders to smash it. Or you can sometimes cheese this. Come on, buddy. Well, thanks, dude. Sometimes you'll just smash that wall open. I was kind of hoping to show you, but he decided to be a jerk about it. I think it didn't help that I missed the drop down attack. Hey buddy, are you okay? Are you okay? Good to know. <laughs> Die snake! Ah. Uh. I will, uh, uh, oh, crud. Like I said, I love using traps against my enemies. Alright, so I showed you how to get that ring. Now I'm going to show you how to get another valuable ring here in a minute. Oh, crud. Nope. Come on, ugly. Okay, this guy's just being a jerk about it. Nice to know you. Got him. Okay, now he. I thought they had a weapon. All right, run up here. Another hidden chest. This is a good ring. It uh, increases your defense against physical damage. Uh, let's go visit our friend over here. Ooh, this is a good uh, PvP weapon, the Shotel. It goes around shields, so it still does a little bit of damage. Take this. Hello, you got a magic weakness. Huh. I've never actually tried to hurt them like that before. Hey, Marshmallow Man. Where did you come from? The sky. Splendid news, I tell you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> yep. I'd run up against the wall for a ball, to be precise. I'm afraid I'm a bit too tough. To be up running those things. So here I sit in quite a pickle, but who knows? Perhaps we'll have another development. <laughs> I mean, like how I opened the giant gate for you before? Just saying. Ah, these guys. 
All right, you can't kick them. Oh crud. Wow, I almost expected to accidentally step off the ledge right there. Oh, that would have been comical for you guys. Yeah, this area is a lot harder to go through than I'm making it look, but I've been through here more times than I care to remember. And heavy drinking couldn't even fix that problem. Nope, can't make it. Kind of hoped I would, but I won't. I just have to make it up to the, this door again. Hey, I see you. Come on, buddy. Aw, I didn't kill him. Huh. I don't use the jump wing attack very often. Ooh, man uh, and serpent sword. Oh, these guys are an experiment by, uh, remember the scaleless dragon C? From the preview, uh, the intro video? By the way, we're going this way. There's prizes over here. Alright. Now, what we have to do is wait for this hole to fill up. While we're waiting, we're going to go in here and introduce you to your first mimic. Not a very... Uh, see? Just looks like a regular chest. How you tell the difference is you look at the chain. If it's curled up like this, it's a mimic. Regular chests are kind of more outstretched. This guy's very strong, and you don't want him to grab you, or he'll just start chomping on you. I got a good stagger out of him. Because of his insane height, it's easy to just like walk around him. But you gotta, uh, but putting distance between you and him isn't always the best plan. He has this nasty uh, jump kick attack. That's ow. Not exactly like that, it's more like a karate spin kick thing. Oh! Nope. It's a bad time to be missing my swings. Die! Oh, whew. Oh, look, our first enchanted weapon with lightning damage. That'll be our way of getting out of here, this elevator. Don't drop down. That's death. Alright. Now, how's this going? Oh, good. Whew. You want to be careful with these because sometimes it will do like a double boulder. The gold serpent ring increases uh, rare item drops. So if you're looking for a specific item from a monster, wear that ring it'll increase the likelihood of it dropping. I really don't need it. Actually, I could have used it when I was trying to get this um, boulder side sword. But, oh well. Now use this elevator. You do not want to ride it up all the way. As soon as it gets to uh, right there, you need to get off. Because it will keep going and there's a... See the blood splatter on it? That's from anyone who rode it up all the way. There's a spike pit up there. And then there's also this door. I guess that's good magic gear. Set that going that way. Okay, that opened up that door down there where that snake was. Alright, now that that's done, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna go show you one more thing real quick before we go on. Yeah, there's one of these guys. But, uh, like, a mage might be interested. Anyone who wants to play this game as a mage? I don't care if that killed him or not. He'll be out of my hair, at least. Oh, he died. I think this is an invisible door. Nope. Okay. Alright, now, here is the body of a dead mage. Black sorcerer gear and the hush... The spell. 
used for making it easier to sneak up on enemies for backstabs. Or if you just want to avoid a fight completely. Alright, now that... Oh yeah, and see this is the gate right across from the other one. Okay, now if that's up there, we'll make a run down here and we will... Uh, I'm mostly going down here for the second reason. The first thing to go down here for is a spell teacher. One of the best. Hmm. You seem quite easy. Yes, I am. A rare thing in these times. I am Are you saying you're crazy? I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. That is a cage. I am a you look like a bird cage, honestly. You set me free. I'm old and empty handed. But I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. I like your hat. Agreed. I don't like being bored with nothing new anyway. Oh, I don't have the master key, so I have to get the key to open this cage. Okay, I'll come back for you, buddy. I can't even open that one. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I don't have the master key, so I can't open half the things. Got it. Oh, crud! Not good! Well, that was the thing. I didn't realize it already turned. There's a sound cue. Oh crap! <laughs> There's a sound cue you can go by for whenever the balls change direction. And if you don't wanna, if you wanna avoid taking a lot of unnecessary damage, just drop down here. Because you're not, it takes basically running up here naked to outrun this thing, run, outrun that boulder. So you're better off just using this little shortcut. I'll have to come back for him and the item that's at the end of that hall. It's very useful. So I'm gonna, it's a, a soul item, but it's worth a, quite a lot of souls. And by doing, a, pushing it at this so it's pointing out that door. You'll make it easier for uh, Marshmallow Man, and he'll be able to go to his next checkpoint. Oh, by the way, trap. Crap. Trap. And there's no outrunning that one, so you, I don't even know if you can jump to avoid it. Alright. Another friendly... Uh, this one, you basically just need to run. If you stop even for a second, you're gonna die. And then this guy's waiting for you at the end. Man, that was close. Come out here a little bit farther so I can stab you in the back. Ooh, a sword, a uh, metal enema. Not gonna lie, that sounds painful. I cannot believe I got my shield up in time. Are you dead yet? I do not like these bigger snakes. They're def Oh, nope. I forgot about you. The answer's no. We cannot be. Oh, crud. Cool moves. That's what sinks. This person's got four weapons. And a hand for magic. Well, three weapons and a hand with magic. Well, I missed. That didn't work. Metal enemas for everyone. And if you think that sounds painful, I bet it is. I wonder if that's what it's like to be probed by an alien. Personally, I don't want to find out. He, these guys. Like, you've seen how powerful this sword can be against other enemies, but he, these guys just have such high defense. I don't want to use up all my fireballs on them. I want to hit another bonfire before I get to the boss of this area, but come on. Oh, good. I think I have enough time I'll make it to the next bonfire before I have to quit for the episode. Alright. You might as well have a bow out when you get here. Because this guy's going to be a jerk.
Just keep hitting him with headshots. And he won't have a chance to shoot you. Because if you try to just run through there, he'll just start spamming magic at you. But you can lock him down with a simple headshot combo. And his head will always come back to the same position. So unless you miss, it's going to be fine. Oh yes, this bridge. This bridge has caused my death more times than I care to count. Let's face it, everything in this game has caused my death more times than I care to count. If you look sort of downward like this, you can see how close you are to the blade. Finish it. Then get up here quickly because there's so many more spikes. See? Traps. Alright, so... That's the nice guy who's been dropping boulders on us this entire time. He's not cool. Uh, I got a few minutes left, so I'll go ahead and do some more, a little bit more stuff. Hey, Balder Knights. This is as far as the Balder Knights ever made it. Because, as I told you, the Balder Knights, they... It's speculated that they came here trying to uh, prevent... Nope! To prevent all the bad stuff that's been... Uh, to prevent the fire from going out. So they came here on their own. I still want that cape. Uh, and this is as far as any of them ever made it. None of them made it past the er boss of this area. Spam! No. I'll just back off because you'll probably... Gotcha. I'm sorry, my brother. You are a noble soldier. This is a ring I wish I'd had a few fights back. Flame stone plate a ring. It increases the resistance to fire damage. Guess where that ring would have been handy. Uh, that's a crossbow. You can get that fairly easily from up there. Just drop down on it. Alright, and uh, time to meet Tubby Mora. Hey, Tubby. By the way, uh, he's a jerk. He's very slow, so you can, if, as long as you just don't stay in one place for too long, you'll be fine. Gotta step off here. Bonfire. Oh, rest at the bonfire. Alright. Uh, let's do some leveling up. Let's see, can I pop any humanity items? Not humanity items, so I, wow, I got a few. Try to get a couple levels in before we keep going. I'll we'll probably wait till the next episode to keep going so that I can. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna do a ser uh, do like yeah. I'm gonna keep these for now, but these are used to make weapons, special weapons. A uh, soul of uh, Kulog is spider bitch, and you can either make a uh, katana that's pretty decent, eh. but her other weapon is a fire scimitar. It's basically her weapon she was using when we were fighting her. It's pretty cool and powerful. Soul of the Moonlight Butterfly. That was a giant butterfly that killed us. You can use that to either make a spear or a shield that doubles as a weapon. You uh, Throwing magical discs at enemies. I, I actually like that shield. But because I'm trying to do the Boulder Knight, I'm probably not going to mess with it. I'll let you all vote. And I will make one of the weapons for them. I probably won't use it. I might just show it off a little bit. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be using it. But if you all wanna see a specific one of those, I will make one of the weapons for these. 
I'll actually do that with all the boss souls. If you all have a weapon you'd like to see made with them, go for it. I will show you all it. And that's probably just about going to wrap up this episode because there isn't much farther I can go before I'm running out of room. Uh, Alright, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Dark Souls. I hope you enjoyed it. We're getting closer to the halfway point of this game. Uh, like, favorite, comment, the normal routine. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave them. I look at the comment section quite often. My phone's even set up now so I get a, an email every time someone leaves a, message, a comment. Please don't just spam though because uh, I'll have to delete all those from my inbox. That'll get annoying quick. Uh, have a good rest of your day. This is Aaron, signing out.